You have heard it said before that sometimes during the summer it can be referred to as the 100 deadliest days of summer. A horrible thing to say, but it's because with teenagers on the road out for their summer break, car crashes are much more likely to happen. Well, the kids are back in school, but those car crashes can still happen. So what do you do when that occurs and you have an injury? Dr. Sean Jones is on the show this morning from Chattanooga Wellness, and he says, believe it or not, uh, he wants you to think about putting him in your Rolodex because Call me. Call me. you have kind of a, a different way of approaching injuries. Yeah, there. you know, we've been taking car accident victims for over 36 years, and, and here's the thing. We learn as we, as we grow and we in practice. So one of the things that makes us different than other places, number one is, of course, I went to Palmer College. It's the oldest, largest, best school in the world, and, and I've been practicing for 36 years, adjusting people for even longer because I went to high school across the street from Palmer. Um, but when you come in, it's not just chiropractic care. We used to see people 24 to 36 visits on a car accident, typically. Now we usually only see them 12 to 16, 18 visits, depending on how severe the accident is, because of the equipment that we use. And when we use this equipment, like the k we talk about a lot on the show, it super heals tissues, decreases pain, decreases swelling, super heals tissues much faster. Um, so and it, it, uh, it just works so well, we can cut down the number of visits and get you well faster, less visits to the doctor. So are you suggesting then, because I think human nature, unless you just do really, really hurt, human nature is to say, nah, I'm okay, I'll be okay. Yeah, and that's the problem. See, here's the thing. When somebody has a car accident and you get an impact, let's say it doesn't, it, the car does not collapse. Let's say it's like 30 miles an hour. Hits the bumper, maybe dents the bumper a little and the car doesn't collapse. Well, that whole amount of force, the vectors of force, travel right through your body and tear the soft tissues. So sometimes you get hurt worse in a 30 mile, 35 mile an hour accident than a 60 mile an hour accident where the car collapses because some of that energy is absorbed by the car collapsing. Does that make sense? Yes, it does make so, sense. So people think they're not hurt. They're, they were sore for a couple days, especially when you're younger, you think, oh, I'm sore. Well, now when you get to, to you know, your age or older like me, you've got arthritis throughout your whole neck because you didn't go get the care you should have got right when you had the accident. Okay. And, and so we always tell people, call our offices, get in, we'll do a quick examination, a very thorough one, because we want to make sure in case you have to go to court that we document everything well for you. And here's the thing too, people have med pay on their insurance, right? It's, it's, it's actually a health insurance policy tagged onto your auto insurance. If you use your med pay, it does not raise your rates. It does not raise your rates at all. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a health insurance you could only use if you have an accident within a year of the accident for injuries related to the accident. So to not use your med pay insurance is silly because it does not make your rates go up. And it's overpriced insurance because you can get a million dollars coverage for a couple hundred a month and you're paying 30 a month for 5,000 or $10,000 coverage you can only use with an accident. So use your insurance, it won't cost you anything to come in to see us. So I guess most people, when they think about a car accident injury, obviously our mm -hmm. first thought goes to whiplash. Yeah. But do you see a lot of leg injuries? Yeah, we see a lot. The seatbelt causes low back injuries when it comes into the, the tummy right here. Uh, a lot of times the knees will hit the dashboard, uh, depending on how big you are. Like my knees are always on the dashboard anyway when I drive, mm -hmm. so right by it. Uh, and, and so in the steering wheel will come in and hit the, the collapse of the uh, chest a little bit and cause injuries to the chest. So you get strain sprain injuries in your neck, your low back, your mid back, also your bracing. So you're going to end up causing wrist problems or shoulder problems. Right. Of course, we work on all the extremities uh, with that too. Okay, so you mentioned your K-laser that you mm -hmm. use. Is there anything else that you're yeah, using Yeah, the shockwave. So if you tore up some tissues, we can go in with the shockwave therapy and we can go in and bust up those adhesions. It's the opposite of laser. It tears down adhesions caused by the accident so we can get you well. Now, some people have already had surgeries and other problems uh, in, the ac in their accident that got exacerbated. So you've had back surgery, you're doing okay. Now you had an accident, boom, and now it's irritated. So we've got to go in there and, and work the uh, tissues, mm -hmm. bust up the adhesions with, with uh, shockwave and go right in with the laser and start super healing it again. So we decrease the pain and swelling and speed up that tissue healing. And that's why you get you better much, much faster. Um, you know, because here's the thing, you don't want to have problems down the road. Right. Even if you're not hurting bad now, you will down the road someday. Okay, so if you are somebody and you're hearing this for the first time, mm -hmm. and perhaps you had an accident six months ago, right? can they still come in and get benefit from these procedures? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, especially if you went to the hospital afterwards, which is always a good idea to run in and document that you had injuries uh, and they'll take some x-rays on you so they can document it when you get in there. But even if you didn't, come on in. And remember something too, if you don't have med pay insurance, it's okay, but you'll need to have an attorney protect your interest and protect our bill. You know, because a lot of people say, oh, I'm talking to the, the attorney at the other insurance, at the insurance coming from the other guy, and they're watching out for me. No, they're not. They're not watching out for you. They're there to pay as little as possible to you. So they're not representing your rights. I just had a new patient start uh, this week, 
and she had the same thing happen. So you want to make sure you get in. We'll, we'll re refer you to a reputable attorney, that, and which, by the way, you only have reputable people on your show, which is fantastic. Uh, the attorneys you have to come in are good people. Uh, there's some we won't work with. If they've stiffed us or our patients, we won't work with them, but your guys work, do good. And we do the best job anyway because we have the equipment other people don't have. I've got the only shockwave in town. We're the only people can do that on people that have had injuries. I've got less than 30 seconds before okay. I go. So um, obviously what you're doing can help with car accidents. Absolutely. But if it's not a car accident, but some other cause for the injury, you still are going to turn to these oh, yeah. same methods. Same stuff. That's why any injuries you get. We have a lot of people send their work comp over. If they don't want to file insurance, they just pay us cash to come in and get their person back to work in three or four visits. And that's what we do. Knock it out, get them feeling better, and not have problems down the road. That's our biggest concern. Always great to see you, Sean Jones. Yes, ma'am. You'll find him at Chattanooga Wellness on East Brainerd Road, also in Cleveland on Chambliss Avenue. ChattanoogaChiropractic.com is an easy website yes, to remember. They'd be happy to help you. And Sean, as you know, Dr. Jones, when he's here, loves to share a few humorous comments when he's on the show with us. He likes a good laugh, and so do we. It's Monday. That means it's time for your Dad Joke of the Week. Your Dad Joke of the Week brought to you by Scenic City Neurotherapy. Everyone deserves a laugh. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for this week's installment of the Dad Joke of the Week. Does anybody know how amoebas communicate via cell phone? What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. Thank you. Jokes are a great way to support mental health, but at the end of the day, sometimes we need more than support. Sometimes we need intervention. Scenic City Neurotherapy is here to provide a better way of dealing with mental health issues.